All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Off Access Builds. Today, I'm going to be installing a wiring harness for a trailer uh, connection on my 07 Jeep Liberty. Um, it's kind of disappointing. There was a recall on this vehicle, um, gosh, probably about eight years back, 10 years back. And uh, their fix to the recall was to put a trailer hitch on. Well, unfortunately, they did not put a wiring harness in with the trailer hitch. So it's kind of pointless to put a trailer hitch in. Apparently this vehicle, uh, if it got ruined, would catch fire. Um, I don't know the truth on that, but their fix was to put a trailer hitch on. And now here I am about eight years later, putting in the wiring harness. Uh, we just never really used it to tow anything. I usually use my uh, uh, Jeep YJ or my uh, uh, 99 Dakota to pull things around so it just wasn't one of those things you know we used to tow now we did put you know a little bike hitch in there and all that but other than that that was about all I had in any case uh, this video is going to be on how to install this kit um, let's see here what kit number is it it's kit number I don't know if you can see that okay was that five five three eight two I have, I'll put a link down below. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, it's supposed, supposed to be a plug and play type kit. Um, apparently, you know, you open up the tail, you open up the uh, tail lights, you plug one in, and then you plug the tail light back in. It's pretty simple. So it just kind of connects in line um, to your tail lights, and then it runs down to a little control box, and then to your trailer. Um, this kit comes with a full wiring di diagram. Well, actually not really a wiring diagram, but more of a instruction manual and a few pictures on it. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, on the Jeep Liberty, all you need to do is remove the two uh, plastic uh, lenses off of the brakes. And then uh, you get to the wire behind that. Obviously you gotta run the wire up and underneath connect to the two and then find a location for um, your, your uh, wiring to go to the trailer. So let's go ahead and dig into this project. Um, what you will need for this project, in my case, it has been rear-ended, so they replaced one of them with a Phillips. But uh, if they haven't replaced it, it's more than likely a uh, T20. You can see that star wrench. Okay, T20. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, loosen up those uh, screws and get those two covers off. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. All right, guys. Okay, so the passenger side, in my case, they changed the top bolt or screw out with a uh, Phillips and the bottom's a T20. Usually they're both T20s, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those. red tag out and then just pull it up okay let me show you that again this little red tag oh, I can't push it in right now that locks this connector on okay so what we're gonna do is do the opposite side okay and that one's a little more tough let's go and take a look at it so in order to get to this one you need to reach through the door. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's one right there. And then there's gonna be one right there, okay? You'll need to reach through this area here to get to those. I mean, you might be able to get to it from here, um, but just so much easier to go through here, okay? 
off the same way as the other one, pull straight out. Now this one, now if you can see it, actually does have that little red tag. Let me get a little closer shot. So this one does have that little red tag holding the wire. All you need to do is push it over, okay, and then the wire harness will actually just give it a few tugs and it'll right off okay all right guys so at this point I'm gonna take the wiring harness and just make sure that we connect to these guys before I go through the whole rigmarole looks like the connections are uh, proper because if they're not it's not the right kit go ahead and return it and in, in this case these are gonna work so we're gonna go ahead and take the rubber band off and put this thing underneath the car, okay? So, this is the part that goes to the trailer, okay? And let's put this, one goes to the passenger side, one goes to the driver's side. Um, I'm not quite sure which one's which right now, so we will figure that out, okay? All right guys, so the directions say to feed this green wire down to the driver's side. So I'm gonna feed it all the way down. Okay, to where it's down below. Okay, you're also gonna feed this module down there as well, okay? side okay leave this one for the tail light okay leave that right there now we're gonna take these two wires and run it to the center of the car okay okay so what you are left with is this wiring harness right here to go to the uh, passenger side okay so it's gonna come all the way over and then up through the fender and I'll show you how to get that up Meanwhile, we are gonna pull the most of what we can to the center. So this has the longest wire that we can use to go to the trailer, okay? So let's go ahead and get underneath, pull that over and we'll zip tie it up. Okay, um, don't need to uh, screw this on just yet. We'll take care of that last. Okay, this is the ground. Okay guys, so there's two ways that you can run this wire, okay? You can try to pull it all the way through the uh, hitch bar, okay? Or you can zip tie it to the hitch bar. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it all the way across and zip tie it off to the hitch bar, okay? And that'll allow me to bring this thing through, zip tie it with the same lines, the trailer plug, and then I'll split off to where the, the ball is and then continue on with this uh, green line, okay? To the passenger side get some rope okay and feed it through that hole there it's gonna come out the bottom you'll tape it off and then pull that connector back up through so let's get you set up and show you how that works so I'll just go ahead and feed this down Take some 
any kind of type of tape, in this case I have electrical tape, we're going to tape it off. Okay, and then you just go ahead and pull it back up through. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and connect that up, pull down the slack, and then zip tie it back here, away from the exhaust, okay? So with this, you want to pull it back to the beam, zip tie it off, and then all this extra you're going to zip tie as well, so it's not hanging down. The reason why you're pulling it back to the beam is so it's not hanging on the exhaust pipe. <laughs> Okay, so there's one last thing you gotta do before you can do any testing, okay? And that is this ground wire, okay? We're going to go up underneath and attach it to the frame there, okay? So all we're just gonna do is get a self-tapping screw and put it right in there. All right guys, so that job took about a half an hour. Uh, if I wasn't videotaping the whole uh, process, it probably maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Um, really easy to do. Uh, basically, there's four screws. You pop the brakes lights off, run the wires, pop it all back together. Really easy job. Uh, again guys, thanks for watching. And remember to join me on the next one. All right guys, remember it's always built, not bought. Have a good one.